Hope you're excited for another amazing episode of Disruption Nation. This is sponsored by the Seth Brothers EXP. What's up? Welcome back. I'm your host, Taylor Wade Hopper, Disruption Nation, back at you. Nancy Ortiz, HWA, Home Warranty of America, is with us today. Thank you so much for being on. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us always. Yeah, of course, always of course. So uh, Disruption Nation is a show podcast platform. We showcase people that are disrupting their space in a positive way in, in the community. And, you know, YouTube, you can watch our videos there, subscribe. Uh, Spotify, favorite podcast app, social, we're, you know, obviously, you know, all over uh, social too, IG and Facebook. So anyways, thank you for being with us. Um, so from Puerto Rico, okay. And uh, yes. how, how long have you uh, lived here? Wait, when did you move here? Five years. Five years. So came over Jersey first in Texas. Exactly. Right? Yep. Yep. Awesome. Fresh and out of Puerto Rico to New Jersey, then Texas. And I like Texas a lot better. Yeah, a lot warmer. I didn't know we were <laughs> going to start this way, but we're going to. So, tell, <laughs> well, just outside of the weather, is that it? Is that the main reason, the weather? Because oh well, no, and, and I met what, you, what and what, I mean, <laughs> come on, disruption nation. If you, uh, yeah. yeah, no, uh, for a lot of reasons, I like the weather. I like uh, the people. They're very um, welcoming. Um, Southern hospitality, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, for we got it. We're in Texans are happy people, and Puerto Ricans. Why are you well, so I, mad in Jersey? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the weather, actually. True. I mean, New Jersey does is kind of crazy. Does it get dark in the winter at like four o'clock? It like, does, and uh, it's just depressing. I'm sorry, but I'm talking. It is. Talking I mean, too trash. no, no offense. My mom is from Washington Heights, so yeah. she and she also did not like the weather, and she moved down to Puerto Rico, so sunny and. Yeah, Puerto Rico. You know, beaches, and who doesn't like that? Yeah, everybody. That's where everybody wants exactly. to go. Exactly. Yep. I think they're mad because of the cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They might be. Yeah. So, um, all right, so Texas, she's been here for five years mm -hmm. and three years, is that right? Three years already with HWA? Three years uh, with HWA, and before that, I was a realtor, and before that, I had my own business in the island of Puerto Rico when, back then when I was still married, but... Um, now I've always been on sale for sales. You know, uh, I'm like, I, I guess I have it in my blood. I love sales. Yeah. I love meeting people. Same. No, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, and um, and I want to talk about that too. By the way, so uh, your 16-year uh, sales career in Puerto Rico before you got here, um, talk about that a little bit. So we developed our own company. It was uh, kind of like an advertising agency. We we touched niches. And mm -hmm. it had to do with radio, uh, closed circuit radio. Okay. And we prepare the, pro the radio programming for offices and for stores and different stuff like that. So it's retail audio, but also niche marketing with pediatricians and that type of office, like medical offices. So we would prepare, we would prepare the programming specifically for the offices to you know inform their clients and stuff like that i got you very yeah. cool and, and so the whole the same company same like uh catering to the niche markets for 16 years for and 16 years and it's still going yeah. it's still going in puerto rico very we were very successful and he still is and yeah no, and fantastic. i love i love being i love the experience of building yeah, something from the ground up you know right. We were like right there in, in my living room in a little space in sales. And I was doing the, all the calls and reaching out to people and for offices and growing and growing. And then we grew and we went to our, you know, we, it, it, was, it became a, a moment that we needed to expand and delegate. And so then we opened offices in, uh, outside of our house. And, the rest is history. It's that's, still there. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I mean, it speaks to your success in the uh, in the home warranty you know industry, 
in the real estate market, right? Because it's, it's, it's again, it's a niche market, and you're catering to a bunch of different niches there, Ex right? So exactly, that, that, yeah. That's 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 a great you know place to come from, regardless of what you do. So yes, yes. That's awesome. So um, some of the stuff that we're going to hit today, um, you know, life, kids, um, career, and then you know, with Nancy's career, you know, just. Uh, what, what, you know, I mean, the home warranty, I mean, setting expectations, having a good idea of, you know, why you want to have one covered or not. She asked me a good question. I'm going to hit in a second before the show just to kind of get my, my opinion on what my thoughts of a home warranty are because it's, you know, I mean, everybody's different. Real estate agent versus a consumer versus mine. So just, you know, what, what do you really know? Exactly. <laughs> um, new relationships and the importance of those because that was one of the things pre-show she said she's been super uh, grateful for, right, mm -hmm. in the last three years. Yep. Is, uh, you know, the people that you've been able to meet, which I thought was really cool, very genuine, you know, just coming from a, a genuine place. Yeah. Um, the concierge team that they offer, which is uh, which is awesome. And then we've got a couple of things in there. Um, I, did, I did want to bring this up because, you know, one of my first memories, you know, I met Nancy. Um, I, I feel like I got to know you more um, during um, COVID, during Zoom. Like, I don't know why. I just I remember because you, you had yes. a dog in the background. You know, it was so cute. It was running around talking. We were having these <laughs> master classes on Zoom. And um, anyways, it was, uh, that, was, that was cool. So from, yeah, from COVID to now. Disruptive I'm glad nation, disruptive dogs. This, well, the dog wasn't being disruptive. Well, it's not, <laughs> I mean, maybe distracting a little bit, but I'm, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm ADD or whatever. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> if it's not your dog, it would have been something. But um, anyway, now here we are. So yeah, so I mean, talk about just life, kids, and career. Because I mean, you, you talk about happy life and, you know, what everybody I think probably aspires to, 